When I came to America, I was so homesick and so lonely here. And then I started uh, meeting some nice Irish people. I met them at the KRB and my homesickness went away and then decided, well, you know, I was happy then. A lot of poverty. I mean, we had family that died of starvation. She got me a job in Woolworths and I thought I died and I went to heaven yes. because they put me on the candy counter. And I ate so much sweet stuff that I sickened myself. I asked to be taken off there and they put me onto the cookie counter. My Uncle Harry, he was near to the city hall and so he'd have a really big, big happenings up there. And the Irish music, he had an Irish jukebox, like Irish dancing every Sunday and he brought the wolf tones out. It was their first trip to America. We arranged to meet at Shannon Airport. Nobody went to the airport with me and my father took me to the bus and I remember him standing at the bottom of the bus and the biggest tears oh, coming God. down and never see you again, which is not true. We had the Irish football hurling up and we'd meet out there on Sundays. It was good times, happy times. I came to America full intention of joining the army and getting over. You get 10 days leave in the six months. So I discovered my sister was out in Eureka, California. She was married out there. Well, I got to Eureka and uh, no problem. They were delighted to have me go in and join that National Guard. I was very, very happy to get to America. I was happy in San Francisco because it was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful.